Hello, today I'll be teaching and showing you the basics of digital painting. For today's tutorial, I'll be using a program called Clip Studio Paint, but most digital drawing programs are pretty similar to one another, so this video would be a good starting point just getting used to the digital art world. Now let's dive in. So first, let's get started by opening our first canvas. Like I said earlier, setting up a document window can look different from program to another but they're pretty straightforward and easy to follow if you read them carefully. Program may have preset dimensions like legal documents, tabloids, A5. Today I'll just type in manually 600 by 600 pixels. You can also change the unit here as well. I recommend putting 300 for resolution to avoid overly pixelated drawings. When you first open a fresh document, it will automatically have a background layer and a blank layer. Now, what's a layer? Layer in digital painting is like a transparent sheet. Different layers stacked together create one drawing. Layer itself can be so helpful in digital art if you're working on a complex piece or selectively editing one specific part of the drawing. Let's go over the basic tools that I think it's essential. This is a pen and brush tool. This is what you use to sketch, draw, and color with. You can download new brushes online or customize your own to create a perfect brush. This is an eraser tool. Can you guess what this does? Like brushes, you can also use eraser brushes with different texture, size, and hardness. This is a paint bucket or fill tool. This will automatically fill a section with the selected color. This is useful when you're coloring large parts of the drawing quickly. This is a color wheel. You can select color by sliding around the wheel. In Clip Studio, you can save the color palette of your choice. This is a color picker. You can use tool to select color on the active layer. Among all these colors, if I want to select this specific color, and I just simply click on them and voila, you have selected that exact color. Lastly, this is a selection tool. Simply click and drag to create a selection, and until this is selected, you will only be able to draw on that selection. You can also transform a selection by clicking Transform or Command T. When you're finished with selection tool, simply click the Select or Command D or Enter. These are the basic tools that I use the most, but there are other tools that I didn't mention that you can play around with. Now we have learned the basics, let's make a drawing together. Here I start by doing a rough sketch. And you can see I'm using a lasso selection tool to change the scale of the girl. And now on a different layer, I'm doing a line work with the black color. Before I start coloring, I like to put down a solid background, in this case uh, green, below my coloring layer so I can tell what spot I missed coloring. After filling everything with the paint bucket tool, I start adding some details and shading. Finish off by changing the line color, and there you go. Thank you for watching.